Kilo mza moz, ni pachu ye shakon I'm part of our organization, the 12 Tribes of Israel, and uh, like we, we see Ethiopia as the promised land, you know. Here we, we employ more heart and more conscience and more God in all that we do. It just makes it better, doesn't it? So this history is important for people to know why and where we're coming from. So he was Rastafari Gokundan, hence the idea of Rastafari or Rastafarian. Rasta is not a religion, it's a way of life. In one word, love. And it's an unconditional love. That's the Rasta man. He wants to be as natural as possible. The main seed of David split into two. Queen Asheba came and bore a child for him, which she later named Menelik and brought him back to Ethiopia along with the Ark of the Covenant. And the other line was um, led to Christ. And the Bible tells us that God loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. The gates of Zion being Ethiopia and the dwellings of Jacob being Israel. So God loves Ethiopia more than Israel. They used um, music and lyrics very effectively to uh, uh, cement, if you will, the emotional ties of the Gavites. The system of slavery was to drive out everything African that was in the slave. And uh, most of all was this uh, love of drums. You know, African people love the sound of the drum, you know. So part of our rebellion really is to make our drums and play our drums. <laughs> Babylon fall and Rasta rise. Come in with them gun and be it. Who rule you with money and gun? Those is the colonial people. Click, click, pie. Click, click, pie. They want to rule the world. Who shall rule the world with a democratic system? It's not no democrat, it's democratic. This is why you'll find that there's so much attention on Iraq and Iran, etc., which is the strategic points for that moment. Now look what America doing. I mean, as in America learned from Vietnam. There is a judgment coming on the earth. And I don't think they understand where it is coming from.